Hi everybody, let's see what the upcoming weekend has in store for you. It could be about love, finances, events, trips, anything. Please like, share, subscribe and hit the bell to get notified in the future. Let's begin. This spread is for all earth signs. Perhaps your story is in here, but there's also a separate spread just for your sign. Timestamps should be in the description box down below. We have the 901s. Clarified by the Page of Wands, uh, the Wheel of Fortune, Clarified by the Eight of Wands, we have the Sun and the Six of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You definitely have a fire sign coming back to you. Um, yeah, <laughs> any fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, right? The Six of Cups on the bottom of the deck is the card of somebody coming back from the past. It's also a soulmate card. It doesn't have to be your ex, it could be anybody, you know. It kind of feels like they just want to repeat something the two of you did in the past. They want to party like it's 1999 again, they want to go to, they want to fly out to Vegas and have fun, they want to go out, they want to spend some time with you, catch up with you and have a great time. That's how it feels, or science. <laughs> That's how it feels. Alright, we've got fire throughout this whole reading, except for that Six of Cups, all other cards all remaining cards on the table could be interpreted as fire sign, right? Even the Sun and the Wheel of Fortune. The Sun could be a Leo, the Wheel of Fortune could be a Sag. But uh, if you want to stay general, then the Wheel of Fortune in this case, together with the uh, Six of Cups, is a repeat of what the two of you did at some point in the past. And the Sun uh, is simply the happiest card in the deck. Alright, so I think you're going to be happy to hear from them. I don't know if you're going to go, I don't know if you're going to do this again with this person. Hang out, have fun, I don't know, what have you. But uh, this person wants to, uh, they miss you. It kind of feels like, yay, let's reach out to this earth sign and uh, uh, remember the good times. Alright? Cool. Taurus, um, we have the Three of Cups, the Page of Cups, the Two of Pentacles, clarified by the Six of Swords, and uh, we also have the Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You have multiple invitations to multiple events, okay? And you're going to be thinking, should I go to all of them, or just some of them, or one of them, <laughs> okay? And it kind of makes sense. If you live in the United States, uh, this is a long holiday, uh, I mean the long weekend, right? We celebrate the Labor Day. Um, and uh, yeah, most likely you'll be, you'll have options in terms of where to go, whom to see, and how to celebrate, right? We got the Three of Cups, the first card I came out, and the Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Both of them could be interpreted as cards of events, parties, gatherings, barbecues, I don't know, shows, games, what have you. The Page of Cups, uh, the second card I came out, it's an invitation, but it, I think it's just one of the invitations. All right, and uh, the Two of Pentacles clarified by the Six of Swords, this is you deciding which of the events you want to go to. Or perhaps you're juggling events. You, perhaps you're going to try to um, attend as many of them as possible, right? The Six of Swords clarifying is literally going. <laughs> okay? The Six of Swords is literally going to an event or some of the, or all of the events, Taurus. All right, so yeah, busy weekend. All right, cool. Virgo, we have uh, the Two of Cups, uh, the Three of Pentacles, uh, the Ace of Wands, clarified by the Ace of Cups, and uh, we have uh, the Page of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Um, this is definitely some kind of a, a new beginning, and uh, I see either some kind of a business or cooperation or work-related new beginning. For, for some of you, it could be you and the co-worker of yours or business partner or colleague of yours becoming more than just co colleagues, more than just <laughs> business partners, more than just co-workers for some of you. But it is definitely a new beginning. All right, um, yeah, uh, the Two of Cups, the first card I came out, uh, there's two people in the Two of Cups, right? Uh, you and uh, another person. The Three of Pentacles, the next card over this card is a card of a co collaboration, cooperation. Right, so it could be somebody who you work with or about to start working with or collaborating with in some shape or form. Right, and uh, here come the two aces, the ace of ones clarified by the ace of cups. Those two aces could simply be interpreted as a new beginning, you know, since the ace of ones showed up first, it could be uh, you getting all excited, all fired up. Uh, about this new beginning and the Ace of Cups is simply a confirmation that yes, it is a new beginning and you're all excited. For others of you, if you've been working with this person or if you've been dealing with this person, collaborating, cooperating with this person for a while, you guys could be becoming more than just co-workers like I said. 
Okay, the Page of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, all the way to your right. If it's just purely uh, business or work um, oriented cooperation, then the Page of Pentacles could be like uh, business lunch, business dinner, or it could be paperwork. All right. Um, if it's more than just uh, being co-workers, uh, the Page of Pentacles could be like still going out and uh, perhaps uh, planting seeds in terms of uh, this uh, transitioning to a love relationship. I hope this makes sense. But again, it's definitely a new beginning. All right? Cool. Capricorn. Uh, we have uh, the Seven of Wands, clarified by the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles and uh, the Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Well, you are the King of Pentacles here, Capricorn. Male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. And uh, I don't know if you're gonna like what I'm about to tell you or not, but you will have to work over the weekend. Even if you do 9 to 5, Monday through Friday, you know, you will still have to prepare for some kind of a meeting or a presentation or uh, perhaps some kind of a pitch. If you're pitching an idea, or pitching your own vision, or if you're going on a business trip uh, during the following week uh, and for some kind of a sales meeting, you will have to prepare for it. All right, I do see you with the sub. And all this is because, yeah, this will pay off in the future for sure, because we have the Knight of Pentacles all the way to your left, where I find that seven of ones. This is what's at stake, this is what's on the line. All right, the Knight of Pentacles is a very distant chunk of change. Knight of Pentacles could be a contract or a business deal or you again, um, you know, rising up in the ranks in the future because the Knight of Pentacles always talks about long term, right? With the Knight of Pentacles, you can always plan ahead. With the Seven of Wands, this is a card of uh, somebody who is on active defense, right? That's why you're going to be working over the weekend because you need to defend your position, defend something, protect something so you could prove something to someone or sell something to someone or um, you know just tell them that uh, this is how it's gonna be and that's it <laughs> right uh, the ace of swords on the bottom of the deck all the way to your right in this case in this uh, spread it's very similar to the seven of uh, wands energy this is you being crystal clear this is you being very decisive you know this is you being um, on top of your game I guess um, the Eight of Pentacles in the middle is a card of work, business, and finances. All right, so even if you do have to work over the weekend, Capricorn, I believe it will pay off in a big way. It's like you're going to show up on Monday for that meeting or what have you, and you're going to be really, really prepared, and you will stand out of the ground, and uh, you may take people by surprise, and you will, you will get what you want because you did your homework, you, because you're the most prepared one. All right? And there you have it. I hope my readings resonated with you, and if they did, I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.